How's it going everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the precision alignment tool. The precision alignment tool is an accurate and perfect way to move, mirror, uh, rotate, and position props in the way that you want, uh, stopping you from having to use the precision tool, the fizz gun, stacker, etc. Uh, so today I'm going to be showing you some of the basics. Uh, I have a couple examples. Uh, we're going to run through them and then we're going to try and get some function out of this stuff here. So for example, I have it here is my little buggy Jeep that I made. Uh, it's mainly using the mirror, mirroring function, uh, moving the wheels across the plane, moving these uh, pipes to mirror across to make uh, perfect symmetry within the frame. Okay. The next one we're showing you guys is the mass center function, allowing you to place this ball uh, perfectly centered to this ring right here. The next feature I'm going to show you is how to mirror props using the plane tool. Uh, taking this pyramid over here and moving it to this side perfectly spaced apart. And then the final tool I'm going to be showing you guys how to use is the hit pause tool, which is allowing you to select specific points on props uh, and moving them to other selected points that you have. So perfect example would be props like this that have weird hit boxes uh, that don't normally conform well when using just the regular precision tool. To, to move them. So we're going to start with this one right here since it's the top of our list. So you're going to make sure you want to have the precision tool pulled out. Uh, have point hit pause selected. Now to generate new points you're going to simply left click. Okay. As you can see wherever I click the point is created. Now to change that all you have to do is change your snap sensitivity. So if you change your snap sensitivity to 100 it's going to immediately snap to the center uh, mass of the prop. Or if you click down towards the corners, it's going to snap towards those corners. Same thing for the sides here. It's going to snap wherever you uh, are nearest to with snap 100 selected. But for now, we're going to change that down to uh, 0.1 so we have full control of where we're going to click. So like I just showed, we're going to, I'm using E to, clicking E to snap to a point. I'm going to left click and create our first point. To generate a second point, you're going to hold down shift and click again. Okay, so that, that applies to all of the tools right here. Okay, shift will generate more points. A shift click that is. Okay, now to move, what you're going to do is right click your prop. And that's also going to apply to all of these here. So right clicking will select the prop for whatever function you're using. So we've right clicked our prop that we're going to move. Now we're going to hold down Q. And within the point menu, we're going to have point one selected as our base which is here, and point two selected as our moving prop, along with the prop being moved selected as well. Okay. And then once you've done that, you're going to hit move entity, and it's going to move point two to point one. Okay. Now, if you did it backwards and you made this prop one and this prop two, you're just going to reverse the steps. And you're going to have this one selected and that one selected, and you're going to do move entity. It's going to be the same thing. To undo this, you simply press Z because it counts as a movement in the game. Uh, as if you're using the stacker or uh, the weld or something like that. Okay. Uh, now, if I were to just normally place these tools using the regular old precision tool, you're going to see that it's going to kind of get weird and not be, you know, the way we just had it. Okay. So now if I just like rotate this real quick, just change it up a little bit. Uh, I still have the tool selected or the prop selected. Point one is still a thing and point two is also... So we're going to hold down Q again, and we're going to hit Move Entity. Now it's going to put it at that angle. Normally you would not be able to do that using the Precision Tool, nor would you be able to be as precision it with your Fizz Gun. So it's a really powerful and useful tool. And simply hit Delete All, or select the points you want and hit Delete. It's going to do the same thing. Next I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the Mass Center function. Okay, so let's click Point Mass Center. Now, just like we did over there, left clicking will generate your first point. So even if I click around, it's going to keep moving point one wherever I want. So we're going to click our prop, point one. As you can see, it already put the point in the center mass as we have the center mass tool selected. Now, just like we did over here, we're going to hold down shift and left click again. It's going to generate more points for us. So now we added points two, point three, and point four. Okay. Now, to move this ring, to this ring, just like we did over there, we're going to right click again, we're going to hold down Q, 
Now, as you can see, we generated more points, so it's going to leave us off on the last point we had selected. So actually, we need to go back up to point two and hit move. Bam. That just moved that ring center to this ring. Now we're going to apply that again. We're going to right click the next ring, hold down Q, change to point three, hit move. Bam. And so forth. Right click, hold down Q, change to point four, boom, move entity. Now you have all of these centered uh, to the prop. Really powerful tool to use, uh, especially when you're building prop engines or you're trying to get into building that. Uh, it's just a really, really nice function to be able to have. The next thing I'm going to show you guys is how to mirror stuff. Now, mirror function is using the plane tool. Okay, so how to get this prop over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this real quick. Now you're going to want to use plane hit pause hit normal. Plane hit pause hit normal is going to generate your plane. Your plane is the green square, okay, and the direction of the plane is denoted with the arrow pointing out of it, or the green line. So the plane is facing this way. So if I were to click this prop, it would it would rotate across that way, okay? That's not what we want to do. So to change the direction of the plane, you do plane hit normal. You will click on the face of the direction you want it to go. So you can click here. Now you can see that the line's going that way. So that means it's going to mirror that way. Okay. If I change, I can go to this side. It's going to mirror the other way. Now to change the directions of the mirror, you can actually click on the world on a prop. Anything you want. You can even see that it changes to the angle of this face right here to mirror. But that's not what we want. We want to mirror across. So hit pause at normal to generate the plane. Plane hit normal to change the direction of the plane. Now to do that, to the actually do the mirror, you're going to right click your prop just as we've been doing. You're going to press R this time. It's going to open up the position alignment panel. Okay, it's going to open up display options. It's going to allow you to change the colors of whatever you want the functions to do. What we're going to be using is the rotation functions. So we're going to click rotation functions tab at the top. It's going to open up a, a menu that's going to be a little more blank than this. What you're going to do is click mirror across plane. Then you're going to click plane one. Now, if you just click rotate entity like so, it's going to just straight up mirror it across, uh, removing the prop from this side and putting it over here now. If that's not what you wanted, simply press Z and it will bring it back. We're going to press R again, but this time we're going to hold down shift and then we're going to click rotate entity and that's going to duplicate it. Okay. Now, if you did not want this to happen and you want to take it back, uh, you can either remove the prop or press Z. Now you can see that I removed this prop. You may freak out a little bit. Press Z one more time and we'll get right back to where we started. So we can do that here. Again, let's hold down shift, rotate entity. Now that I've mirrored once across this plane, you can actually just hold down shift and right click again without having to go into the R menu because I've already utilized this plane once. It's just going to save you some time from going into this menu and uh, pressing rotate entity. So it's just a quick shortcut. Once you've already rotated on a plane, you can just hold down shift and start clicking away. Basically what I did over here to this prop. Okay, that's gonna cover some of the basic functions here. Um, I'm getting a little more uh, in depth with it right here now. So what I wanna do is I wanna put this engine on this plate and these wheels on this plate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use hit pause. Okay. Now I'm going to select this point right here. And then I'm going to take, hold down shift and click here. That's going to generate our second point. Now I'm going to move this wheel to this plate. I'm going to hold down Q. Point one is my plate. Point two is my wheel. I have it selected as it's blue. And I'm going to hit move entity. Just like that. Now, I'm going to clear my points again. I'm going to select where the rear wheel is going to go. Come to this side. I'm going to hold down shift or hold down E and hold down shift again. It's going to generate my second point again. I'm going to right click. Sorry, not right click. I'm going to hold down Q again. And I'm going to move entity. Now these wheels are perfectly centered where I want them. So now let's get the hit pause hit normal going to mirror these wheels. Let's hold down E right here to snap the grid. And let's place down our plane. 
Now I want these wheels to mirror to this side, so I'm going to change the direction of the plane, just like that. So now the plane is in the center. I'm going to right click this wheel, press R, I'm going to hold down shift while it being in the mirror cross plane, plane 1 selected, holding down shift, I'm going to click rotate entity, bam. Now that we've already rotated across this plane, I can actually hold down shift again without going into the R menu and move it across just like that. Now we can clear out all our points and there you go. You just made a plate car. Pretty simple and easy. Now here's the tricky part. I need to actually enable something. Cool. Just so you guys can see the grids. So now I want to move this engine to this plate. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use point hit pause. Okay. And I think it's going to look good right here. So let's put that point right there. Okay. Now I'm going to go to point mass center. Hold shift. Click the engine. Okay. Now I'm going to right click the engine. And now I'm going to hit move entity. Bam. So now the center of the engine is on the center of the point I selected on the plate. Perfect, but not so much because you can see that the engine sticks out a little bit. Let's fix that. So now what we do is I'm going to right click my plate. I'm going to press R. Now we go to the points tab within the precision alignment panel. Go to points tab. I'm going to check off relative to entity. I should select the point first. Now I'm going to click relative to entity. So this is telling me the values of point one related to the center point of this prop here. Okay, so X, Y, and Z are going to be your heights, you know, your left and right, and your up and down, and your forward and back, obviously. Z is going to control up and down. So, for us to fix this issue right here, where the engine is sitting under the plate, let's change point one value, uh, Z axis, to, let's try 15. So you're going to type 15, you're going to press enter, and you're going to hit set. Okay, now we're going to close out of the menu. We're going to right click our engine. Okay, and then we're going to hit move entity. So as you can see, that seems a little bit too high. So let's try and fix that one more time. So we'll right click our plate again. Okay, we have point one selected still. Let's try nine. So we're going to press enter, hit set, close out the menu, right click our engine, hit move entity. Not quite there. Maybe seven would be a good number. Let's try this again. That's pretty good for me. It doesn't stick out through the bottom and it actually looks kind of nice in there. We could probably have gone with seven and a half, but we'll leave it at that. This was some of the basic functions of precision alignment. There's many more. Changing the angles of props. Uh, changing the distancing of props, finding the center point between two points, all of that. Uh, that'll be in my next video. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, you have any recommendations or anything else to add, please let me know. Uh, thank you again for watching.